Greg Nat, my channel Side Hustle. Welcome to the quarantine edition. Uh, today, building a video based on a request that I received uh, from somebody who watches the channel. I had to keep it going and reach out from Atlanta. He reached out and said, hey, you know, I, I really have a question about getting my song on independent playlists. You know, is there a method or a strategy that I have um, that allows me to get my songs placed on these playlists prior to a release. So that was another piece of it. And so I gave him some advice on that. You can see the question here, shout out, keep it going. Really three steps to this when it comes to getting your music on independent playlists. Step one is what I'm gonna spend the most time on today. In fact, really gonna be the basis of this whole video, which is research. Now, what I mean by research, I mean, how do you go and find a playlist curator's contact information? So that you can build your own list and you can start reaching out to these playlist curators well before your song is released and uh, they can start featuring your music and you can get some plays. So uh, again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and get on my computer so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, if you fuck with this content. Uh, stay safe during Corona and let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how to do this for Spotify just because I think it's the most like relatable and it's certainly the one that uh, I've had the most success for. So I'm, I'm just kind of really trying to show you guys uh, what I know, not uh, not what I'm speculating about. But this is how you go on Spotify. You find a playlist curator who you want your music to, to be on. And in fact, it's really more of does your music fit for the specific playlist curator's playlist. It's as simple as that. If your music doesn't fit for it, then this is really a lost cause. No matter what, how much messaging you have, no matter how perfect the person is, no matter when they listen to your music, if they don't fuck with it, then it doesn't really matter. Once you do find that playlist that goes in line with your uh, style or genre of music, you can go find this person on the internet, reach out to them, and start getting your music playlisted. So that's what this is about. I'm gonna go ahead and start up here. I'm gonna start with uh, Chill Pop because I think that's just easy enough. So you type in whatever genre. This is just an example. We're typing one with chill pop. Um, you go down to playlists. See, and you're like, oh, okay, there's only four playlists there. Nope, see all. Okay, so this is where you have an ungodly amount of playlists. Now, you'll notice something whenever you go here, right? You see all these different names. And look at some of the biggest ones, like Chilled Pop Hits. Now, this is made by Spotify. And as such, there's 225,000 or 226 nearly thousand followers. But as you go and look around, there are also playlists with, say, 23,000 followers by someone named Lily Era. Um, or you can go Peter Fung with 7,000 uh, or 7,600 followers. You can go down here to After Peak at 42.8 thousand followers, and so on. So this is the crux of how you go and get your music on a playlist right here. You have to know which playlist you're after, and you have to know who runs it. So let me just do an example real quick. Let's say we're like, well, Chill Pop Songs 2020, I like the cover art here, Lily Era. Um, let me click on Lily Era's profile. Okay, so this is a playlist. Uh, looks like she has quite a lot of followers. Um, she's got several public playlists, although this Chill Pop Songs is the number one uh, one, and she has, yeah, she has several followers. Okay, so now we have a name to go after, right? Now the next move that we're gonna do here is we are going to open a tab. Okay, so we're gonna type in Lily Era. What do you know? Lily Era has a YouTube channel, Lily Era on Spotify, Lily Era on Instagram, Lily Era on Twitter. So, you go here, you say, wow, Lily Era is also very well known on YouTube. You can see this here. They've got over 50,000 followers, lots of videos. Looks like they haven't been as active here if you're going by the newest. But they do have a ton of followers here in general. Uh, additionally, what else do they have? Well, they have a Spotify. They also have a Submit Hub form where you can go and actually send your music. Um, so I'm just saying for a dollar or two dollars, you could always go do that. But we're not going to focus on that today. We're going to keep going. Uh, then you have an Instagram, which it looks like they have zero interaction on. So first thing I'd say is when you go and find these people's contact information, it doesn't always mean 
that you're going to uh, want to reach out to them on Instagram. If they're not on Instagram, then great. And I don't know how they have 450 followers other than somebody doing exactly the same thing to me. Now let's go to Twitter. Okay, now this is another place. They do not appear to be active at all here. Now you would, I wouldn't um, say you shouldn't reach out on an area like this, but we're gonna dive a little bit deeper. Let's go to their website. Okay, so their website is directly um, to uh, their Spotify. So we're gonna go over here to Facebook real quick. We're gonna type in Lily Era. Okay, and here's another page. So these guys aren't active at all on social media, which does mean that there's a little bit of an issue here, but let's go over to their about. And their contact info, it looks like their email is right here. We are lilyera at gmail.com. So what I would recommend you do is you go to a Google Sheets um, and in fact, maybe what I'll do, just because people are probably going to be kind of curious, let me show you. Uh, this is basically a uh, template that I got through Dave Days, a course that I did a while back. Um, I'll share this with you. Um, shout out Dave Days. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, so this is a playlisting uh, spreadsheet that you can go use. And what I would say is really what you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna to want to go over to the contact info real quick. I would say type in that right there, call it Lily Era is the one. Um, say how many playlists they have, how many followers they have here. So you can go in and put 23,000 and it's at 88, right? Oh, zero eight. Um, you can just call it Lily Era. And in this case, I would say actually email them. If they don't get back to you, I would say also go to their Twitter. Uh, I would say go to their Instagram, DM them. You have to go and figure out what their preferred line of communication is. And you also have to go and actually make a compelling email or a compelling DM, which we're not gonna go into today. But we are gonna show you just how you go find these guys and throw them on a playlist. Um, so, Let's carry on. I want to show you guys one, another example. Let's just go trap. Because I feel like there's a lot of people who are gonna watch this video and make trap music, so fuck it. Okay, so you got all these different playlists. Of course, make sure that they don't say Spotify. So you have this one here, this is for Spotify of Trap Nation. These are giant brands. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but they're giant, giant curators. That does not mean I'm saying don't reach out to them. But it is just an acknowledgement that, you know, the bigger these guys are, the harder it's going to be to get on them, the better your music has to be. So what I recommend doing is usually starting smaller. Um, like an example here might go to um, Boondock Josh with 20,000 for a Christmas trap music playlist. Uh, if you have a trap song that's of the Christmas variety. Um, like, let's see... Uh, I think this one looks good. Trap 2020. So we're going to go over to this real quick. Again, we take Alejandro Sobarzo. And here's an amazing thing that they did for us. They put a picture. That means if we go to their, if we can't find them, we can't figure out what their email is. We can go to their Facebook, we can go to their Instagram, we can look for this photo in particular. And uh, usually when there's a photo uploaded, it means they actually went and signed up through Facebook way back in the day or Instagram, um, which means it's gonna be a whole lot easier to see. So again, we got Alejandro Subarzo, and uh, we're gonna go type that in on Google. Alejandro Subarzo. Alejandro Sobarzo. Let me check that's right. Okay. And then we're going to go. Uh, music playlist. So I, I didn't find them uh, just off a simple Google search, so I'm going over to Facebook real quick see if I can solve this issue. Boom, number three on the Facebook thing. Click here. 
Look, he posted a video not long ago, one hour ago. You know, you got Bad Bunny going ham over here. So anyway, um, he's just posted this. Let's go to his about. Um, he doesn't have any work or education listed place. This is listed. Contact info, not there. But you can be rest assured that this is the right individual, okay? So at least you found him. Now, uh, Facebook is one area where you can go. And so this is this is one area where you could go and add him as a friend, send him a message, say who you are, why you want to be on this playlist, etc. Okay? You could also go to Twitter and see if uh, he's got anything there. Alejandro Sabarzo. See what his handle was here. So this is another thing that I like to do. If you go over to his about, oftentimes there's like, where does it say? Oh yeah, so, okay. So here's some more information. Alejandro Sobarzo Bernal, okay? So now you know that that's either his last name or, um, so in fact, let's go back. Okay, here you go. So this is probably this may be him. We'll see. It is. Boom Shankar! So these are the things you need to like paying attention for what their actual name is in Facebook. That stuff matters. You know, the tiny details will actually go and show you exactly who you're looking for. So um, if you wanted to go here, you could say, all right, now I've got a Twitter for this guy. I can go follow him here. I mean, basically you have his full name now, so you can go and take that and do what you will. Um, sorry, Alejandro, to make you a guinea pig, but it is totally just to say that we don't have any control over our data on the internet. Sorry to bring it to you. Um, here and what do you say same guy I think so so anyway basically you could go on um, his Instagram and you could message him there as well and the good news is, is this guy's got very, very few followers. Um, so I think it's probably going to work out. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you go and find the right playlist curator. That's all I really want to spend my time on here today. Uh, step one is going and building a list of contacts before you reach out to them. Um, putting that list all together and, and making it something that you can eventually go and outreach to and send several DMs, emails, etc. Um, if there's a will, there's a way. This is how you go basically build that contact list, do your market research, um, and figure out exactly who uh, is going to like your music. I mean, that's essentially what this is. This is about you going and figuring out exactly who likes your music, uh, how, what kind of music they're into, and then saying, okay, these guys probably are gonna like the music that I'm putting out right now. Let me go figure out uh, exactly what the contact information is. This is how you do that. So uh, I hope you guys found this um, super interesting. I hope this was informative for you guys. If you don't mind, please go comment, like, subscribe on the video. Tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me if this was useful to you guys at all. Again, it's your boy, Daddy Nat. This is my channel, Side Hustle. And man, it's been a pleasure. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are uh, having fun. This is it. I'm out. I'll have a good weekend. of our day that we giving up here if it ain't another fight is it just a bluff remind me how my life is it stressful my dear